friends hopefully that's us live uh welcome to another sunday chat and it's another new month so it's time for your favorite time of the month you strange people of the how much money does a lazy eatsy seller make where i go through my stats with you and at my 10k video a few of you mentioned that you kind of would like to see the youtube money ones as well so i'm sharing these just so that basically people can get a realistic idea of how much or how little a normal average person makes on these things so i thought the youtube one is actually a pretty cool idea because at the end of the day, um, as we discovered, 10k subscribers means I'm in the top 2% of YouTubers. So does that mean I'm loaded? Spoiler? No. <laughs> but it just gives you an idea how if you start up... Um, actually, Etsy, I noticed this week in one of their mailouts, or I didn't take a note of it, but they were talking about how to promote with social media and they did mention YouTube so they are starting to talk about it and I do think it's an awesome way to promote yourselves. Oh yeah, one thing, if any of you guys actually follow these things on YouTube, there's a couple of YouTubers, Shane Dawson who is a huge, does documentaries and things, and Jeffree Star. Um, collabed together on a YouTube series on creating their own makeup range and basically this just shows uh, the power if you're a big YouTuber but it shows the power of how you can use YouTube to really market something because they did this I think it was six six videos so far six one hour videos showing how they created the palette and everything and the makeup range went live um, on the 1st of November and they broke the internet. Two YouTubers, Shopify went down, um, I think Morphe, the makeup site went down, everything went down because everyone was buying it. So there is that kind of power. Excuse me, I am back on the coffee when it becomes winter again. I just really feel like cozy drinks. So anyway, because of all of that, I thought really cool to show how much, not only can you use YouTube to promote your stuff, you can use YouTube to build your brand, but you can also make a bit of money out of YouTube. So it's all cool. So I thought I'd share that too. Um, yeah, excuse me, that's really good. Um, what is it? Salted caramel truffle coffee. Sounds fancy. And before just about to dive into the chat but I just wanted to share something I've been making this week it's really interesting I make for those that don't know I generally make needle felted sculptures of people's pets usually dogs and yeah I've been doing loads this week but one thing that I always find interesting um, is that I seem to get runs of certain types of dog these aren't the exact same breed but I just these two were sitting sitting on my side shelf just now and I thought this was kind of cool they're not the same breed that's a Boston Terrier and that's a French Bulldog but I just looked at them and I thought wow I'm getting two two very similar breeds of dogs so that's some of the main things I've been making this week I haven't even they've not had their photo shoot to show their owner yet but I thought that was fun right just gonna sip the coffee and check into the chat <clears throat> um denise hello everyone dull and drizzly here hope everyone has better weather oh yeah it's pretty much the same here we're staying we're staying inside anyway well letting the dogs out to toilet but fireworks are in full swing for everyone who doesn't know well i think i think it will be like in most of the places but in the uk the 5th of november we have bonfire night where people I used to enjoy this so much before I got pets that were scared of it but we have fireworks and bonfires and things to celebrate uh, basically some poor stooge person getting um, conned into trying to blow up parliament and then being used as a scapegoat and brutally murdered so yay we we celebrate by setting fire to the sky and I believe it's also Diwali, I don't know if I said that right, a uh, festival of light which also involves fireworks. So yeah, just now it's terrifying if you're an animal or a baby or I, I suppose some vet some war veterans it could be quite terrifying for as well. But yes, it's also dull and drizzly, hence the coffee. 
Oh, and I'm going to have to remake these merch mugs because if you hadn't noticed, I realised after my 10,000 YouTube video that when you get 10,000 subscribers, what you can have is what they call a merch shelf. So I don't have to push or advertise my merchandise. If I make cool stuff, it can just appear below the videos, which I think is so much fun. So I'm going to play around with that. Don't, you don't need to buy anything at all. It's just fun for me. I like creating this kind of merch stuff. So I'm going to try another one of these careful, I'm um, feeling stabby mugs. And um, yeah, this one is my inappropriate one. I don't, this isn't up for sale just now. This is just what I made. Um, and I believe a couple of people bought one when I did this run like a year ago. But the inappropriate back of this, which is Pam Duffy felt me up. <laughs> I like that. That, that tickled me. <clears throat> Ryan, hello there. Hi everyone. I am Hugo. Just started Eatsy two months ago and I have a thousand in sales. Awesome. What on earth are you selling? That is fantastic. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, the chat is skipping again. Um, Guinea Pig Weekly, hello there. Great to see you. Um, Raphael, good morning. Um, it's 8 a.m. in Las Vegas. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's just about 4, 4 p.m. in here in dull, dismal Scotland. Um, Canvas and Chroma, hello there. Leathersmith Vlogs, good morning from Arizona. Hello there. Uh, Canvas and Chroma, you on early today? No, um, our clocks changed last week. So we are now back into this is. Um, Greenwich Mean Time, this is the proper time before we were British Summer Time. So it's the same time for me, unfortunately different time zones. Let me know if, if the clocks changed in your area, are they going to change, are they, are, do they not change, do you not have a different time for summer and winter? It's bonkers anyway, but yeah, so, sorry if everyone thinks I'm a little bit early if you're not if you're not in the UK. I can't keep up with all the time zones, so I just have to do it UK time and hope you find me. Guinea pig. Hello everyone in the chat, hope you're having a lovely day. I just got back from checking a potential retail show for next year at the NEC. Oh wow, you're going to do the NEC? That is fantastic. Um... Yeah, I used to live down in that area, so I know NEC is the National Exhibition Centre, and it's huge. It is massive, so terrifying, and well done. Um, Denise, yeah, you had fireworks last night. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, it was quite scary here last night, so I'm giving the dogs a bit of a quiet, quiet day. Hi Jordan, don't know what you did to your face, but you look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I just, I was sitting about and I thought after Halloween, it starts to come Christmas and I've been watching these makeup videos. So I thought just sitting around in my house, try and make up when I'm just by myself, that's really sad. So if I sit around in my house and try and make up before sitting in front of my computer, that's it's clearly not sad at all. So I, I thought I'd mess about with some makeup. So I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Valerie, hello from Long Island. Uh, it's gorgeous here. And the pumpkin. Yeah, let's. It's still a little bit Halloween y, I think. I don't think we're done with Halloween till in the UK. Well, I feel in the UK we have Halloween and then we have the 5th of November bonfire night. And then we have uh, Remembrance Sunday, which is remembering the fallen war war people and everything. Um, so I feel after the 11th, then's when it, then's when I don't necessarily growl so much at people being all Christmassy. I suppose you you can do it after Remembrance. Uh, CJ Phoenix, good morning. Um, oh, stop jumping, chat. Canvas, you got a approved for a com booth you'll be hawking hawking your merch in person in january awesome you guys are doing so well i i only tried a couple of craft fairs and i really didn't like it all that much i i'm just i i don't cope very well clearly face to face when people are going Ew, that much for that so i'm i'm not very good with people <laughs> Dimitra in northwestern Greece. 
it's finally pouring 6 p.m here happy november yay happy november everyone um always enjoy your videos and tips thank you so much that is so kind of you to hear uh canvas and oh stop stop skipping chat uh canvas and chroma it changed back an hour sophie hi pam and everyone hi there good to see you uh, guinea pig yes i've done the nec once before oh fantastic you are so brave uh, what what show is it so if anyone's there they can they can go in and see you um i know there's the shows on all the time so <laughs> but yeah that sounds so cool and lily tree hello there <clears throat> embroidery art by nat it's never sad to make it make a makeup for yourself you look gorgeous oh thank Thank you so much. I was kind of nervous, so thank you, everyone. Creative Living, hello. And Transformational Healing, good morning from upstate New York. Hello, everyone. Awesome to see you. Right, so we're just about to get into the how much money does this Etsy seller get make so before we dive into it just let me know if you think I'm up a bit if I've made more in sales this year less in sales doing terrible if my shops totally died because I know there's a lot in the in the forums people are people are saying how they feel they're doing so let me know what you think I'm just gonna sit and sip my this is a really nice cup of coffee I should have should have drunk this before having to talk constantly uh, Lily's just sorted out some new display for the Christmas show you're going to fantastic I bet your jewelry does wonderfully at shows it is just so beautiful and unique I mean that that bat I, I was so tempted with that bat <clears throat> hey guinea pig you did the national pet show so big, 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 um, 25,000 visitors, but it's an exciting challenge. Oh, fantastic. That sounds great. Um, I had years ago, we talked, I can't remember if it was, I think it was the Glasgow Eatsy team or maybe, no, it was McEatsy, the Scottish Eatsy team. We did talk briefly about doing something for the Crafts for Christmas show at the SEC SECC which is the Scottish equivalent of the NEC and that would have been kind of cool but I don't think I could do the whole thing by myself that sounds a bit terrifying like to just just have a small section of it that would be good uh, canvas you're not good with people either but I'm not afraid to tell them to, to sod off if they're annoying the show's fandom PDX oh I haven't heard of that, but that sounds fun. On the 4th and 5th. Good for you, by the way. You tell them to sod off. <laughs> Excuse, I don't know if the mic will pick that up, but there is an ice cream van outside blaring its music. I, see, this is a weird thing. When I moved back up to Scotland, when I lived in England, let, let me know what it what it's like where you are when i lived in england an ice cream van was something special that came round to your street like twice in the summer or something it wasn't a regular thing but in scotland up here we get ice cream vans every day i think several times a day and they don't just sell ice cream because it is november i don't desperately feel like an ice cream just now <coughs> excuse me um but they also sell sweets, they sell fags, they sell everything. And we even have, I've never never caught it, I don't know if it still exists, um, but people said this was fantastic. But there used to be a fish and chips van that came around my streets and they would drive up and stop and fry fish and chips and people would race out and get their fish and chips. <laughs> Bonkers to be driving around in a vat full of like smoking hot fat in a van full of smoking hot fat. Bonkers. <laughs> um, PDX is short for Portland, Oregon. Ah, thank you. Cool. I, I was wondering if it was some kind of special effects -y thing, but Pete, that makes sense. I'm terrible at knowing all the different shorthands for areas. Uh, Kathleen, good morning from Southern California. Hello there. <laughs> Lily, ice cream van, very seasonal. I know, I was totally surprised when when I 
I was playing again. I was totally surprised when I came up here, but it, it's a it's a standard thing here. People literally can buy just about it. It's it's more like a mobile shop than an ice cream van. Really bizarre. And this one's just playing generic music, so it's fine. But there's one of them. I didn't even think of it. It'd been for years. Um, and one of my friends was over and it came round and he was just like gobsmacked like really because it plays Dixieland <laughs> which is hilariously strange for a Glasgow housing estate to have an ice cream van blaring out that music um creative living you had a Friday fish and chip van yeah go <laughs> bizarre but obviously it's a thing people like I say I never I never got hold of it myself but people said it was really good I suppose it's like fresh fried to order so that's pretty cool but bizarre still uh, Denise you had an ice cream van around here yesterday first time in ages I've thought the same before about fish vans how can it be safe I know absolutely bonkers <laughs> Michelle hi there you look forward to more videos every Sunday oh thank you so much you guys are so nice this is the nicest thing I was so worried before I start especially doing live videos but doing videos overall because people you see so many youtubers are like do videos on their hate comments they talk about the trolls all the nasty people and we like what we get a a troll maybe every couple of months it's fantastic I'm so lucky that you guys are all so sweet and yeah I, I almost kind of enjoy the little trolls it's kind of like yay I've made it people are being mean to me but it's so nice and Rosani's in the house hi there it's so good to see you um <clears throat> yeah and for those of you that don't know some some of these guys here guinea pig and Rosani and I shouldn't call you just guinea pig that sounds bizarre but we do have a little community on Facebook it's Pam Duthie's crafty friends um, and some awesome tips and advice and just chat uh, Rosani's just posting up just now all her all her wonderful things that she's working on improving for this year I loved that post uh, just just awesome things like talking about how she's working on her photography and everything I, I'm totally inspired by everyone else when they post something like this and I think yep I really have to get out there and do better as well Wendy's in the house good morning from Nevada a lily tree wouldn't mind if we had a crepe van or a waffle van maybe oh yeah uh, we have there was a, at Loch Lomond a couple of years ago a kind of food festival and in the car park they had lots of different vans and stuff as well and one of them that I just like I would love was a stone-fired pizza van that was fantastic and when I do agility shows with the dogs they have well they have a full greasy spoon van which I think that's just a British thing but it's that you can get fry up so you can like bacon butty bacon rolls <laughs> and things like that and the the greasy spoon one of the things they started doing oh, was so good was um they would make eggy bread well french toast a uh, savory french toast i know americans have it sweet which seems bizarre to me but anyway um french toast with bacon sandwiches oh i'm making myself hungry now um, but the other thing they had that even I was trying to be good when I was away for the weekend and they had fresh donut vans as well fresh donut and coffee yeah so you're trying to be good and you go past and they're just literally cooking donuts and dipping them in cinnamon sugar I'm gonna finish this stream early today because I need to go and get some food um Delia good morning Denise you're you're there too yep it's such a lovely friendly Facebook group yeah I totally love it I have to spend more time in there I'm I'm lazy with everything <laughs> guinea pig it's all right to call me Katie though that's fine I know I just I'm in my head I'm going it's Katie it's Katie isn't it it's Katie <laughs> I I know but my memory is shocking I'm really bad at names if if you have a dog I'll know you by the name of your dog but people's names terrible <laughs> Rosani's yum yes <coughs> right I suppose we better get into it how I have done because there's a lot of nonsense non there's a lot of chat in the forums people are talking about how terrible 
Itzy's doing and I don't believe it's doing terrible um some people are always going to be up and some people are going to be down and also when the Christmas rush starts is different each year I've had several years I get super busy on like Black Friday that's when it starts to get busy last year I started to get busy super early so comparisons and things you know if people only have last year last year was a bit of an outlier for me it was way better than I expected. Alina's in the house. Hello there. Sorry, I was on a business call just finished. No problem. It's great to see you. Right, so let's let's get over to my shop. So, as we can see, well, we can already see from the stats here, we're a little bit down, but I'm not super worried about that. As I say, this time last year, it was a bit... It was a bit super good and also there's the ads fiasco and there's all sorts of things let's have a look at uh, last month this month why is it i might not been able to see that right this month okay let's just do it custom i couldn't see that um so it's just easier to click on that Oh, are we doing American dates as well? Come on, Itzy. I'm not in America. <laughs> um, there we go. Anyway, that's right. So. Oh, Lena, thank you so much. No, not out on a date. I'm basically, I've been watching lots of makeup tutorials and thought I need to, I want to buy makeup. But I can't buy makeup until I start using some of the makeup I've already got. So I'm practicing on you guys. Um, Wendy's the same about names. Dogs, yep. Cats and horses, yep. Person's name, nope. Yep, totally with you there. Okay, so, so, so. Seriously, this has changed again. It's not showing me how it compares to... Is that because it's a custom date? This is driving me mental. Okay. <clears throat> dismiss that right come on I need I need the right numbers to compare that's not saying last month anywhere is it <sighs> Eatsy. okay so we're gonna have to do the last 30 days which will be a little bit different but it's the best we've got I am fed up with changes Rosa I hope it gets super good again for you <laughs> soon thank you so much I'm actually I, I'm gonna confess here that let's let's go to let's go to my face I'm gonna confess here that actually for those that don't know I have about five jobs I and absolutely diversify don't don't rely 100% on each seat so I have quite a lot of jobs and I'm doing okay I'm not a millionaire but I'm doing okay so I would prefer not to be as crazy like last year and the year before I got RSI in my hands from the constant stabbing. I was in a vast amount of pain. I didn't have to, from about now till the last shipping dates in December, I had no time to myself, no time to go and see my friends. I was constantly felting. So I would actually like to be a little bit quieter, um, which is really weird, <laughs> but I, I'm I'm not pushing it. I'm actually happy with being a little bit quieter because I want to work on my other jobs. I want to I've been a bit lazy with a YouTube. I've got so many ideas for videos that I want to be making um but I've been a bit slow with them. So yeah, I would like my Etsy shop to actually calm down a bit, which is very weird. Okay, back to the screen. Right. Coffee's getting cold now. Okay, so now this is an interesting thing that for all this year, my visits have been up, but my number of items in my shop is way, way down. And the orders have decreased by 8%. And the really weird thing here was that I had a good start to the year, that the, the year I had a good start to the month, and then I've had a good end to the month, but fairly rubbish in the middle really bonkers I've got no idea why that is my conversion rate is terrible but that is because I'm just having so many visits without people buying 
Now, part of that could be because I've put my prices up twice this year because I am trying to slow things down. So that's perfectly fine that my conversion's down. And also, Etsy has said the ser they're making changes with the search. It's not necessarily being so awesome. Um, but yes, my conversion rate is down. And conversion, for those of you that don't know, that's just saying how many what what percentage of people who visit place an order and a visit just click on an item in my shop and the revenue is down 42 percent as i say this time last year i had a super crazy big order come in um so that's why we can see it's only eight percent decreased in number of orders but 42% decreased on the amount of money and that was because it was just one super big order so that's not comparing like to like anyway but I'm pretty happy with that you know this is this is like my fourth or fifth job and we're getting 457 pounds in the month that's <coughs> it's probably about 550 600 dollars for you in America so I'm happy with that it's not my only income so yeah it's pretty good um cj phoenix looked for handmade christmas trees last week oh everything but christmas trees came up checked again more trees but still a lot of stuff that does not apply must be frustrating for shoppers should say handmade yeah and yeah that's exactly that's why i think the conversion rates down and i'm getting so many visits is eat see go full face and then cough <coughs> eat see have they are tweaking the search and it's not necessarily a bad thing they're trying to make it better um that's a lot of things that they said like in the the quarter three review and stuff they're talking about now google's working on making it search better and etsy's working with google to get a good search but it's a kind of machine learning thing the machine has to learn what's the most you know if someone searches for green emerald green ring is it the individual word or is that a is that a term in itself you know the the machine has to understand ring is it a ring for your finger is it just something that's ring shaped it it's quite confusing <laughs> so yeah unfortunately it's still got to learn and it's not it's not doing great yet <laughs> rosa thank you so much right back to back to the screen um so in this breakdown we can't really although it compares year on year i don't really believe that um because they want it to make look make it look better than it is <coughs> and so it's saying the eatsy app and other eatsy pages is down three percent so that's pretty much the same eatsy search what i'm bringing from search and this is kind of interesting um because the app and the search this this is showing people who searched on a pc and people who searched on the app so i'm pretty much the same with people coming in from search terms as it were so it isn't saying that there's necessarily bad <laughs> bad things happening there with the irrelevant search but big big increase from etsy marketing and seo which is interesting <laughs> <laughs> um directing other traffic is down a bit i th don't know what why that would be but still interesting um social media is up just over a hundred percent that's pretty cool and advertising they're saying is up i'm gonna do a video um what i did with the advertising i'd let the advertising run a month and then i wanted to do some changes to see if i could hack the system a little bit and try and get it to work a little bit better so i've got two months of data from the advertising and i just want to show you i'm going to make a video to show you all of that um i've just got to run the numbers um just checking the check in the chat okay guinea pig not a bad month i thank you i agree uh way to go oh face i need staff to change change all my stuff <coughs> uh, you blew your shop out of the water this month on the sales front to my to your e-commerce shop front 
front. You got a four fig figure four figure month, which is amazing. Eat sees another matter though. Well done, that's really awesome. Um I usually hopefully not this year. I usually expect November, December to be maybe a four figure month. But October's October's that awkward in between child so really well done so your own e-commerce shop front is doing the best fantastic uh dps hi pam it's katie hi there uh canvas what other re revenue streams would you suggest would be good to look into assuming it's still revenue streams that can be done on the internet absolutely it depends um i I personally don't look into selling the same stuff on different places because that's still, you're still in danger from the market if people, if your stuff goes out of fashion a little bit um, or, you know, we hit a recession and nobody's buying. So looking at different things, one super big thing is tutorials which you could do tutorials like live on YouTube they do really well not necessarily live filmed on YouTube they can do really well as as you'll see it, it you know it's taken me this is what three years this is three years it's taken me to get to where I am on YouTube so it's also a lot of hard work but YouTube is another thing as I say you can do tutorials you can you can do whatever you're passionate about. Um, you can also have tutorials on places like Skillshare, Udemy. Um, those are online platforms that people can buy tutorials on, which is cool. You can also sell um, something that is super big. You can do it on your Etsy shop, but you can also do it on your own place your own website as well is selling kits kits are super big and it works really well on Etsy because there's so many crafters on Etsy so people want they'll look at your stuff and go that's gorgeous I could make that oh look here's a kit I will make that so you're 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 hitting the two lots of people you're hitting the people who can't make it well in fact it's kind of three lots you're hitting the people that can't make it you're hitting the people that are going to make it and will buy from you and then you're hitting the people who think they can make it buy the kit realize it's more difficult and end up coming back to you to buy it anyway so yay um asha good evening hello there <laughs> lena yes ai technology and it's it's so super ex like it's creepy and exciting all in one. Rosemary, hello there. Amni, I can't say it, but from Morocco in Africa, hello there. I would love to go to Morocco. I had a friend went a few years ago. It looks amazing. A guinea pig, Patreon, yep. <coughs> you highly recommend and use it yourself where I make content and also get paid to make my art. I could talk a bunch about that. There's tons to say, but I'd recommend it with an interactive audience. Yeah, Patreon's great. A lot of people are good with that. Like, um, they can pay you for. Uh, they can pay you for content, or they can pay you monthly, and it's just people who just want to support you. Um, your other thing is merch type stuff, making you know just print on demand T-shirts and things. Um, and then it just depends kind of what what you're passionate about. Uh, blogging can be pretty lucrative as well. That still makes money because you can embed ads into a blog. So if you just write about your passion for your art, that can drive people to your Etsy shop, but you can also make money just from blogs. Uh, so tons, tons of things. Um, Creative Living Teachables, another site. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Thank you. I haven't seen that one, but that sounds cool. Uh, Wendy had your first booth at a festival in the last two days. Sold a bunch of stuff one day, not so much the second. Hey, yeah, but you made sales. Yeah, they can be sale, um, festivals, craft fairs, all these kind of things can be little bit boom and bust you had a lot of people wanting classes yeah there's another there's, a, there's like live classes see if you've got a craft shop near you that's open to doing that kind of thing you know if they've got a little room you could book like if they're selling the kits anyway you could teach people how to use the kits that people can really like that 
And again, that builds up your brand. You know, be, putting yourself out there as an expert on this thing um, can really people are more likely to buy from you even if you're not necessarily the best I mean I'm not the best needle felter not by a long shot but I'm out there so people know my name um oh there's another simple thing if you're out there on any kind of social media or blogs or whatever else if you're talking about how to create the things now a lot of crafts have some seriously expensive kit associated with them and if you're doing reviews on these products you know the beautiful cutting machines embossing machines all, all sorts of things if you're doing reviews on them what you can actually get is affiliate money for that or people can even sponsor you to make videos of it people might send you free stuff to to promote it to to put on your facebook page to put on your instagram and say you know this is the thing that i use so you can either affiliate links is where you get money if people click on your link and then buy the thing then you get money that way or the companies themselves can sponsor you to be a face of their product because you're a crafter that's known you're you're an influencing crafter so there's there's another way so don't be afraid to put yourself out there i mean i'm nothing special but i put myself out there um yay oh every time i try and look at the next line and chat it skips i raise a dollhouse and there's people who favorite put in their cart and then they don't buy yeah that that happens and people have different reasons for putting things in their cart some people save it and they might come back and buy it like in months time but don't even worry i don't i i've never looked at what people have my stuff in their cart i literally that's it's not good use of my time basically uh lily saying congrats to wendy totally agree <laughs> and rosani yeah that's great uh lena does instagram have a revenue generator yep um lots of lots of people get paid for promotional posts on instagram that's the company's paying to do an an instagram an instagram story that's it to do something like oh look i use i i eat this vitamin thing and my hair suddenly grew <coughs> um the sponsored posts i think instagram influencers do also get ad money i'm not sure i'm not very good on instagram but you can Oh, I should just scroll down. Guinea pig tells you, you can generate revenue from Instagram most and de definitely uh, self-direct a lot of my own traffic, but Shopify will tell you how fruitful each platform is. Um, yep, absolutely. <laughs> Creative living, you're special. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you. Right. <laughs> Okay, go back to this and I just want to look at the different graphs because we can. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right. What did I click on first? Etsy search. That is super interesting. So across the month, that looks like a downward trend. Although I'm 7% up on last year, that does look like a downward. I don't, nobody, nobody should be looking at the de the last day or two like let's say in none it's unlikely that i had no visits it's just a glitch in the system which will sort itself out but that looks like a bit of a downward trend so interesting and quick look at the advertising oh fascinating yeah i i haven't looked at this in a wee while as you can see but yeah my advertising is actually going up but so is how much it's costing and my sales through advertising are not going up so i'm gonna have to check but i don't think it's doing some good keyword terms um so yeah so people searching for needle felting i don't think that's very specific because i think more if someone's searching for needle felting they want needle felting kits and not needle felted sculptures a uh, needle felted dog yeah that's a good relevant one and shih tzu yes that's probably me got demonetized uh, marketing and seo so this is visits from google yahoo bing and other search engines that looks like a slight uptrend so that's kind of good um 
this little dog does so well on Google and I don't know why but yeah I'm gonna leave it there and that's why look that title is awesome <laughs> that title is awesomely bad that title is terrible um but I ain't touching it because for some reason the search engines like that and they shouldn't that is a spammy title um but yeah wow 171 views from Google well over 200 views from Google fantastic a uh, needle felting samoid highland cow stamps for cards right I'm gonna have to remember that to him uh, yeah but that is super annoying hundreds of views from Google and it tells me like search terms that have had one visit that sucks um, <clears throat> social media yay this is a good one that looks kind of steady doesn't it for the for the month and <laughs> tis that cat again it's been driving from pinterest forever and i don't even know where the pin is it's not one of my pins that's been shared i'm i'm actually just now working on learning pinterest a little bit better i think the advice that i gave in the past of how to use pinterest is a bit terrible not that not the advice for making cool pictures that people want to share i mean that that just landed right people just like that picture um so that's other people sharing that um but a lot of my other advice i'm not a fan of for pinterest so i'm gonna make totally new pinterest videos um but anyway yeah tons of views four 400 views in the month from pinterest in fact yeah 467 all for that cat awesome <laughs> Um, direct and other traffic that looks fairly steady at not much um, and that's oh, I didn't realize that YouTube's going in at direct traffic rather than social media so again this is generally like you using YouTube to drive sales unless you're Shane Dawson but it isn't the best thing in the world I don't get a ton of visits but using YouTube to generate its own revenue using YouTube to build yourself as a brand it's all kind of good and it's it's a fun different thing to do because if I don't make any sales and I'm a bit quiet then I can make some more videos and hopefully make some more money that way hopefully uh, Etsy app and other Etsy pages again that looks fairly steady across the month that cat is getting the views from the app still I've actually because <coughs> this is one of the things that I can make more of so I've been making some of these in quiet times so they're ready just to pop into a bag and send out and the highest search term is Ben McFuzzy Lugs and then cat lover gift black cat so it's interesting if anyone does kind of similar things to me dogs are popular but cat gifts are super popular and not very well catered to because cats are difficult i'm not gonna lie cats are difficult right i'm gonna jump back to the full face and then we'll chat for a minute and then i'm gonna show you my youtube <laughs> first time we're doing this right so let's just check the chat um down the rabbit hole hello there uh, guinea pig <laughs> oh you're so good at analyzing stats you make me study mine so much more look closely at what mine's showing you're most welcome i am a bit of a that's th this is this is one thing i'm showing all this because i'm showing you how much i'm making on etsy and youtube and everything as someone i don't have an art background i don't have a marketing background i I'm a chemical engineer, I'm stats, I'm that kind of thing, that's my thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so graphs and everything, awesome. I mean, this is just a kind of high level look over them, but it's cool to go and have a look and just see what the stats are telling you. Um, down the rabbit hole, always forget about Pinterest, need to spend a day and pop up some uploads onto Pinterest, absolutely. As I say, something I'm looking at just now, I've just finally created a business account for <laughs> Pinterest. Um, I can show you how to do that and stuff, that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'm going to start doing some actual sensible pinning. Uh, Salon Sonic, hello there. Uh, Lily, Pinterest is still a mystery to me. One day I'll spend time learn 
learning about it. I think you totally should. Um, you're, for those who don't know, Lily Tree makes some beautiful wire wrapped jewelry that I think is very visual and stunning and is very pinnable. So Pinterest, do it. Instagram as well. I know, I'm pretty sure you're on Instagram. Um, but Pinterest, a lot, um, I can't remember where I heard it, but people were saying like some of the biggest drivers on Etsy, you know, some of the biggest things are still coming from Pinterest. People are still going, are, are still making lots of sales due to pins. So yeah. Uh, down the rabbit hole. Need like a week of full time hours sitting at my computer and doing YouTube properly. I have so many comments to respond to and new videos to make and all the promotional stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the problem. And the thing, when I said multiple streams of income, they're not, most of the time, none of it is going to take off immediately. So it's important to to do something that you can keep up, that you can keep doing. Like I say, this is like my third year on doing YouTube properly. I've been on YouTube for 10 years now. This is my third year trying to do it properly. And it takes a time. You're gonna, I think most on average from what I'm seeing in the groups I'm in and stuff, if you really knuckle down, <coughs> not, not you, wow, but, um, but for everybody, if you really knuckle down on a YouTube channel, on average people are expecting to possibly hit about a thousand subscribers in their first year. It is looking about the third year. I, I'm I'm being fairly average in about the third year people are hitting around that ten thousand. Now yet yeah, some people with epic personalities, great understanding of SEO, all the things can grow bigger and quicker and some people obviously are gonna grow slower. So but to just get it into realistic things, all the different streams of revenue, if you're writing a blog, if you're doing the YouTube, if you're building Instagram, if you're building Pinterest, they're going to take time. Just just think of them to sit and say, okay, every Monday I'm going to do some pins. Every Wednesday that'll be my YouTube, you know, and just do a little bit often and don't don't expect anything yet. Um, guinea pig regarding multiple streams you agree with patreon it's like nurturing and filling up a box of good things whether it's youtube or patreon it'll be worth more the more you work at it exactly exactly and that's see when i started on etsy um people people would say and we would all do it they would go oh you need a facebook group you need pinterest you need instagram you need this you need that and now Etsy's mentioned in YouTube and we would go and we would start up these things but none of us would do it properly you would basically be spam 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 Pinterest I've got a Pinterest account I've pinned nobody's buying what's happening all of these things are separate platforms in their own right and they all need building up they all need nurturing I like that word better they all need building up you're building a community on there and yeah, none of it is just going to happen. You go, oh yeah, I need, I need Pinterest. I need to do Pinterest. Then, then you need to do Pinterest. You need to say, probably, I believe actually, I've been looking into it and stuff. And the Pinterest search algorithm is a little bit easier. It's easier for new people to get seen on that. Um, I actually had a look and I'm ranking, I'm showing up for some things I didn't expect to. So if you've got a little bit of an idea about SEO, Pinterest looks like it could be pretty good. But most of them, it takes a while for a new person to get seen. When you're new, you don't have any followers, you don't have anybody jumping on your posts or your pins when you put them up, so the platform isn't sure who else to show you to, so it takes a while to build up. Um, Wabbit hole. Your goal is 3,000 by the end of the year. Awesome. That sounds good. Um, you've been going at this properly for a couple of years now and I'm only at 2.9, nowhere near 10k. Hey, don't be hard on yourself. Firstly, at a couple of years, it was more than a, I had years before I started doing it properly. I think that's fair. A couple of years hitting 3k. 
perfectly fair. Don't be hard on yourself. As as we discovered in my 10k video, only 2% of YouTubers get to 10k. So, you know, at 3k, you're you're up there. I don't know the exact numbers, but I'm betting you're in the top 10% of YouTubers. So don't be, I've only got this. That's blooming awesome. And 3,000 is something to celebrate. So great. And hopefully next year, even better. <laughs> Lily Tree, when I started, I had no idea where it would go. Still not entirely sure, but you're enjoying the journey. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Uh, well, I started because I was very skint and I needed to make some money, <laughs> basically. If, to be perfectly honest, if I didn't known how hard it was to make money, I might have not been so excited, but anyway. Right, okay, so for those of you who were just here for the crafty thing, now we're going to jump into the YouTube numbers. Hopefully this is still interesting, but I won't be offended if you skip out. So here, this is my dashboard. Now, before I totally dive into this, my understanding is I can show you how much money I make on YouTube but I'm not allowed to show the cost per click the how much an individual adver adverts are making so I've got to be careful about what I show you but still here we go so this is I'm trying to get used to the studio beta they've started showing us things differently so I'm trying to be good and get used to this and so to find my analytics it is here and let's just have a look at October. <coughs> and I don't have compa Oh, I do have comparisons now. Yay! I was going to say I didn't think I had comparisons, but I... Oh, it's to the previous... Yeah, it's not to the last year. I was going to say, why is that so down when I'm doing good? It's the month before. Now, the few months before that I had where Etsy were doing their... The, sh the ads, the new stats and everything, so I got a lot of views, so I'm down a bit. So, what we have... <coughs> oh, here, this is fun to see. This is why I like doing... Well, I like doing live, because I get to know you all. But you can see this is real-time views over the past 48 hours. And <laughs> you can see, look, we've got... We've got a fantastic little peak. 174 people viewing in this hour compared to my normal peaks of about 90. So, <laughs> hey, you can see, you can see yourself watching this. <laughs> but anyway, so for the month of, for the, the last month, I had nearly 34,000 views. That's just over a thousand a day, which is, I had got up and I was doing a lot higher, but... That's still really cool numbers. 22% um, down on the previous month. A watch time of 233,000 minutes. <laughs> That's an unbelievable amount of time. Um, and your, how much you get paid depends on the people watching your adverts. Um, but the amount of minutes help as well because the longer you watch for, and if someone watches one of your videos and then goes and watches another one of your videos, that sends good signals to YouTube to show your videos to other people. So watch time is super important as well. And we had, over the month, that's pretty cool, 418 subscribers. And my peak, I believe, was just over 700 in a month, which is fab. But hopefully, this is the cool thing, we're going to be adding these stats into my... Uh, my lazy, how much money does a lazy Etsy seller get? So we're going to be adding these stats too. <coughs> So you'll get to see if this goes up, this goes down, whatever, whatever else. But yeah, it's down a bit, but still pretty awesome. And the revenue for the month, again, down 44%, but that's £193 for this month. Um, what we, hopefully, depends how many views I get and everything, but the tail end of the year, your cost per click, the ad prices, 
across AdSense increase. So we might be seeing that on Etsy as well, what we're paying for our ads. But on YouTube, what we get paid for our ads should increase um, a little bit as more people are bidding, more people want to advertise coming up to Christmas. So for the same number of views, hopefully I'll get slightly more money, but we'll see. Um, and then this is cool. We can see what top videos, what videos in the in October drove the most views. And this is my, <laughs> a lot of people when they're advising me on my YouTube videos, they say, oh, you should just be an Etsy help channel you should just do all that but still some of my needle felting videos still do awesome and this cat's head painting i never full face i'm just gonna do we're going to do a little story time i don't think i ever told you guys the story of that cat's head painting and i was doing so many people last year were sharing these wonderful videos of this artist that was making the 3d cat's head pictures and I thought I'd have a go at this and I set up I had two or three different cameras lots of angles really good light and as I was working on it I was taking pictures posting the pictures getting people excited and then I mean it turned out okay it's not the best piece of art but for my first try it was pretty cool and then I went to edit the videos and from two of my cameras, two of these fabby camera angles, the video had totally corrupted. I didn't have any of that. And from my other camera, there wasn't the best angle. It wasn't the greatest. And I was seriously, if I hadn't have been bigging this up so much, I would have just ditched that video totally. But I thought, okay, I'll make the video. I'll put the video out. And that video has been doing amazing. It is pulling in epic views still so yeah that was <laughs> that was crazy so that's the cat's head video <coughs> excuse me just check the check the chat um oh, I can't find where I left off <laughs> um down the rabbit hole only two percent is crazy it's a ton of work and people don't realize that absolutely um yeah any of these platforms it's a ton of work but once you get used to the slog once you get into the grind at the end of the day it's a ton of work but i'm sitting here on a sunday evening just chatting to you guys this this isn't work this is quite pleasant and from here up I'm dressed okay. I'm in some really covered in dog hair and <laughs> needle felting fluff um, jogging bottoms on the other half. So, <laughs> yay. So, yeah, you literally could work in your pants. Um, canvas and chroma, you've only had 32 sales for the entire year and you're better than 64% of all other sellers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, me... I'm just over a thousand total sales and I'm in the top 5%. Most people, most people on any of these platforms, they start and they don't realize how tough it is. And it's not tough because it's difficult. It's tough because it's work. You've got to keep doing it. You can't just post a listing on Etsy and make tons of money. You have to keep on posting, you have to keep on working. And the same, YouTube, I can't just make a video and become famous unless I happen to be gorgeous 20, live in a camper van with my pet snake. But for most of us, we have to work and work and work. So people start and they give up. And if we don't give up, if we keep going with our Etsy shop, you know, yes, you've only had 32 year, 32 sales for this year. Next year, 60 sales the following year 600 sales you know, the, the growth in these things is kind of exponential as you get seen more you have more returning customers you get better your photography gets better so yeah that's hopefully how it works <coughs> um ooh, chat stop slipping Oh, that's cool. Guinea pigs giving Wabbit some YouTube <laughs> advice. Cool. Um, 
Denise, looking forward to the YouTube info, something I know nothing about. Yeah, it's super... I I really only started doing the YouTube stuff properly because I wanted to see how similar it was to the Etsy stuff. I'd grown on Etsy, so could I grow on YouTube? And the answer is yes. Um, it once you once you learn the SEO, it's not the same for every platform, but it gives you a better foot in the door. You have a more realistic idea of what you have to do. So, if you realise that all the other platforms that you're going to work on are going to be that kind of level of tough, then you're going to beat out the competition. Uh, down the rabbit hole. Um, any suggestion for the thumbnails? You don't want to put your face on them. It's not something you're comfortable with. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm jumping in <laughs> here. Uh, unfortunately, right, I was going to right click and look at look at stuff on your, your channel, but will I lose my page if I click? Let's have a look. Oh no, excellent. I've opened, I've opened up. Let's, let's do a little YouTube channel review. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Tough if you do. <laughs> okay, I'll just close the little secret data I've got and nothing's playing. So jump, jump in. So everyone can, <laughs> can tell us what we're thinking. So Down the Wabbit Hole is a travel channel. If you, if you haven't checked her out, that is awesome. Um, and I think, I think the banner tells us that travel bucket list, exploring the world one destination at a time. Um, do you know, I don't hate, I don't hate the thumbnails. Um, let's, let's go into the most, most recent, that's the easiest way. Um, so harvest in Alberta, I think it's showing harvesting and the sunset. That looks really cool. Uh, the, I think branding I can see it's you because you're using the same font um I don't hate them pups in Edinburgh <laughs> so yeah I don't hate the thumbnails but it's definitely it would be cool to it would be cool to to experiment to a b test them see some different styles that's something I'm planning when I get the time for 2020 I want different thumbnails I think I think mine are getting a bit stale but you can there there's totally nothing wrong with having your your picture YouTube do say that faces get clicked on more often I've been experimenting without having my face and that does kind of good too but I think you've got a branding you've got a consistent theme um but yeah practice with practice and see if your face if you're not comfortable with your face but hey, give it a go i i spent a good couple of hours gurning and doing silly expressions to get some thumb thumbnails i'm gonna have to do them again and that's kind of cool because you're the brand people associate you with your videos another thing that's possible it didn't work for me but some people like it places such as fiverr you can pay people as, as low as five dollars to design you things if you give them a brief some it's supposed to the problem is a lot of them the better information you give them about what you want the better thing that they can make but if I knew what I wanted I could make it myself <laughs> but you can pay like a few people to make you some ideas of thumbnails or something and maybe you would get a good idea of a different different thing to try out of that um maybe we should do in a facebook group like make each other thumbnails and stuff that sounds kind of fun because we're all different you know we've all got different talents and skills there um another thing if you're not wanting your face it was popular a couple of years ago to have cartoon little avatars of you which is kind of fun too or a, a logo, a bit of branding, but yeah. Um, <laughs> guinea pig, woohoo to the watch minutes. So that'll have me studying up a storm. <laughs> Here, skipping, skip, chat, stop skipping. I saw some cool stuff I wanted to answer. <coughs> oh, 
for goodness sake. Um, here we go, Rizani. Your YouTube topics appeal to a vast audience. Always a win-win. Absolutely. Um, guinea pig, I really admire how transparent and genuine you are. Thank you so much. I met so many people who fib fibbed about their business and, and admire you for being so honest. Thank you. Um, it was ages ago I was watching a YouTuber who actually shared this d data. And what I thought, um, so often anyone who's putting, them outside, putting themselves out there as a guru they're the people that have done fantastically well and we're seeing the quit your day job and you know they're the fraction of a percent they've got this aspirational lifestyle and it's not real for most you know most of us are not going to get that so i just i want to share with you the real stuff you know the real what someone who doesn't really know what they're doing but is trying to learn <laughs> the real some you know i am now making a living out of all of the streams I, of income I have. But I want to share with you because it's tough. It's been a struggle and yeah, okay, I'm not the best at anything. <laughs> but, you know, I just want to show you that hopefully you can see some realistic numbers. <laughs> Lily, tech gremlins are a pain too, right? Um, guinea pig you're in my group you are so if you join craft your career group uh, lots of people who can encourage yeah I, I think we should totally do a lot more of that i completely agree so doing some help with thumbnails and stuff help with, like rosani just put up today putting like sorting out her pictures and things fantastic oh barbara love love your videos learn so much thank you um guinea pig i can comment where i can to help where I think to yeah absolutely and it's great because everybody has different ideas about what works um Chris hi at all so sorry I'm late no problem there will be a replay <laughs> uh creative living what app do you use to do the two screen thingy this is seen as we're talking about YouTube this is Streamlabs that looks really weird, I know. So Streamlabs OBS, this little black thing that I move. Oh, am I making you all feel so sick? <laughs> um, so this is a piece of this free piece of software that I'm sending. Not going to click that button. It's sending the videos to YouTube, but I've got all these. These are different setups. So when I click that button, it takes you to my face on screen I've got this set up so you can see actually yeah it's pretty cool you can see here so on this I'm not sure what you would call this but this thing this screen thing you can see well I did have live stream chat I've got that hidden does that so that pops up a box there image three is a box that I've got covering stuff a video capture device this is where I've put in my webcam and this comes so I can put whoop, not that button so <laughs> come on there we go so this way I can put in my webcam image there I can drag that about wherever I want it and the display capture is as it as it sounds it's capturing my screen and what I do here so I've got room to put everything else I've just got my I've, I've just got my computer screen into like three quarters of the picture and I've left this at the side here so I can oh I can't do it while I'm doing that um so I can with this little guy when oh what did that do anyway when I drag that off to the side you can see it disappears let me just get my screens back up there please this one <laughs> so this is cool you get to see my setup and yeah, that's it's Streamlabs OBS. Uh, there's loads of tutorials out there of how to use it. It is really a cool piece of software. So it lets me do screen in picture in picture. You can, I believe you can like interview people, bring in all sorts of different sources, <laughs> the building blocks of your screen. You can put in widgets um, when people, it should, I think it's just on the full face. Yeah. Um, yeah, when people, when we're on the full face, this alert box 
in the corner if somebody subscribes or donates money i don't know how they donate money but if someone subscribes that's where my little zombie appears there which is pretty cool as well <coughs> all right oh i was yeah you guys can't see that because oh i'm an idiot anyway there we go um Creative living, need to look at my hands on my screen while recording. Yeah, you can stream Streamlabs OBS, awesome thing. You can put in as many, you can put in different cameras, everything that's connected to your PC, you can put into that. Uh, Olivia's, hello. Uh, Rochelle, you actually closed your store after the recent Etsy ad rollout. Somehow I'm still watching you, thank you. Um, you're awesome. Oh. Um, focusing on driving traffic to your own site. Do you have any vids for that? Um, not at the minute. I'm thinking about all of these things. I'm thinking of branching out. Um, but it's not something I've worked on a whole lot yet. It's something I will have to work on. But like I say, the SEO is the SEO. It's a similar kind of thing. You look at what people are searching for and see how to how to make items for that, see what the competition is like on Google. It's a bit tougher. The the little I do know about Google, it takes a while to index things. So it takes a while to actually get noticed on Google. But yeah, be best of luck. I, I think going your own way is pretty cool as well. Uh, creative living, you might want to check out just Justin of Primal Videos. Yeah, uh, Justin's awesome. <laughs> Lily tree, move over brain G. Pam's heading into the YouTube niche. Not at all. It's just I'm I it was just something I when I mentioned it everyone was like, yeah, totally, share all that stuff as well. So my niche is crafting your career and I'm sharing how I'm doing it, and part of that is YouTube. And so many of you are all creative YouTubers, so I think everybody watch Brian G Johnson he is awesome but we have a slightly different thing we're creative youtubers we're artistic youtubers and I think although all his advice is totally perfect and it's helping you and me perfectly um but I think there's there's things that we can learn from each other just being creative so yay um Uh, guinea pig weekly give him more youtube thumbnail advice awesome um agnes can't believe i caught you live love watching you thank you so much good to have you here uh, oh stop jumping sorry it's the chat that's jumping right uh, um, olivia's my youtube channel needs so much work but hashtag time i know that thing literally just Right, that th this is something. This is a thing. It can be overwhelming when you think you have so many things to do. I'm there myself, especially this time of year. So much things to do and tidy a house at the same time. But just the, the thing to do is to break it down into little things. Okay, your YouTube channel needs needs work. So say to yourself, you're going to make one video a week or you're going to make one video a month. What do you need to do to do that thing? So that would be what I'm trying to do is over the weekend, I'm writing one or two scripts and then Monday and Tuesday, I want to record them. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's editing. So I'm also that, that means I've got time. That's like one or two hours a day doing that thing and then I'm doing my Etsy, obviously I'm doing my custom orders, <coughs> but giving myself little chunks of time that I can do the other stuff. And it's actually, I did a video on this a while ago. It's interesting how your brain works. You know, if I sat and said, I've got, I think I've got about six or seven uh, customers waiting just now. So if I said, right, that's my focus, I'm gonna sit down, do all my sculptures until I'm finished and then I'm going to sit down do all my videos till I've got videos done. That's really demotivating because I would probably be a week or two of doing nothing but felting and probably more orders would come in so I would never finish. Whereas if I say today I'm going to write a script, I'm going to sit down and write that script. 
that's something I can do in an hour or two. So I can tick it off in my head or my bullet journal if I get back to that. I can tick that off and say, I've done that thing. And then I can do a little bit of felting and say, you know, I'm going to spend a couple hours on felting just now. I'm going to photograph some of the things I just created. So I'm always getting sort of little dopamine hits going like, I did something. I did something positive. I moved forwards. So that's that's something. Don't think you you need to do so much on your YouTube channel. Think what what little thing do you need to do today or tomorrow or this week that'll move it forward. Um, I love your t love your talk. I love today. Everyone's giving everyone advice. It's so cool. Um, Olivia, you need to work on your YouTube channel and Pinterest. I did pay someone on Fiverr, but they were not very helpful. Yeah, I have to admit, I had the same thing. It that's it. It is my problem. Is I basically went to them and I said, you know, I I need thumbnails you know help me help me with the design for thumbnails and oh, the first thing for my needle felting videos that yeah they did a banner that was it they did a banner and although i'd sent them images and all sorts of things they went and got stock photos of other people's needle felting to give me a banner and i'm just like seriously no i'm not having a banner up that's not my work so I went back to them and they redid it and I still wasn't all that happy but I got some ideas from it and I went and made my own banner. Um, so yeah, that is the difficult thing. So yeah, maybe maybe that would be better some, as, as a group if we can all have a go at making things for each other. Because it is, for, for most of us, it's more the inspiration it's there's so much programs out there i mean there's free programs that make it all really easy so if you knew what it was that you wanted to create if you knew what it should look like then that you could probably make it so yeah maybe if we could pay fiverr people for inspiration <laughs> uh yeah lena talking about primal video again he is really awesome <coughs> Uh, Kubo, am I saying that right? How about a marketing team ready to advertise all your artworks for sale on Google, Facebook, and more? It'd be less time for us to take care of advertising. It would absolutely, and oh, I've thought that so often. It's just, I just want to make stuff. I need people to deal with that. The problem is, excuse me. The problem is marketing people make a lot of money. They charge a lot of money. <laughs> um, so if you have items that have a big enough markup that you could afford something like that, then possibly. But I don't see that I could afford to pay a marketing team. I did. Um, I would, you know, hire people outsource things when you can for example a friend's sister was taking a photography course and i had her take some pictures for me and she didn't charge me very much she was lovely and made some took some great photos and not only were they great photos and they helped me but they also inspired me of like oh i can take pictures of my stuff like this so absolutely maybe if in your area say there's there's students learning about marketing and they're looking for a project you could maybe pay them a little that way or you know there's ways around it but a regular proper professional marketer is expensive um canvas there's a lot of sketchy people out there giving bad advice on youtube and on the forums even if they aren't intentionally being dishonest they're sharing based on their success and it probably won't work for you yeah absolutely you you have to like some it's, it's like i say like i was given advice giving advice a couple of years ago on pinterest and i i was kind of not thinking i was a success on pinterest but i drive in a lot of traffic from pinterest i know how to do this and then i realized that i'm not driving the traffic other people have pinned my pins and my advice was terrible i need to go and learn 
So I've said some wrong things and what works for me isn't going to work for other people and you just have to find the gurus that you believe in Um, and that's why myself and Lily Tree and a few others you know we we hang out with Brian G. Johnson as a YouTube guru because the way he does it works for us Um, different different people have different ways and yeah but yes you do see a lot of people and specifically the things I would watch out for is stuff that seems seems like almost like superstitions you know you've got to you have to do this and you have to do exactly that thing at that time with this thing and it's not it's never going to like the only way to do any of this yes there's there is certain things like doing keyword research and stuff but you've got to experiment to see what works the we all have different audiences so the pictures the type of photography is going to resonate differently with different people the type of titles even the type of items it's different um you know someone could maybe tell you how they set up their specific type of store but it's not the same as your specific type of store and specifically you know if we're actual artists creating one of a kind or not easily reproducible stuff that's very different than a print on demand site or something that our our problems are completely different <laughs> who said that uh, there we go lily tree pamception <laughs> Yeah, brilliant. I'm guessing that's when I pulled up the Streamlabs. <laughs> CJ, that's why I love you. <laughs> love you, you're real. Hugs all. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Lily tree house tidying. Oops, I knew I'd forgotten something. Yeah, that's good thing of being on video. Tidy up this area, not all of that. <laughs> I only need to have a couple of tidy areas and you don't know. Guinea Pig Weekly, work smarter, not harder, always. <laughs> Olivia, Olivius, I think that's thanksing to Guinea. The, the, the. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Chris, what do you guys use as a website hoster? Also, good question. As I say, I'm not. Uh, I'm not very, very practiced with the websites. I've used Wix for a number of years now. I don't know if it's awesome. Um, it just works for me. Uh, Lily's testing out different layouts in her Bojo bullet journal this month, hoping to start the new year with a system that works. <coughs> Me also. I'm thinking of pulling down my bullet journal to be more of a finances thing because I'm terrible at keeping my bookkeeping. So if I had some kind of pretty way to do that. So that's the plan. Uh, guinea pig. Fiverr is terrible in some cases better to work with people you know and like yeah it's it's your luck uh you like i say some people say it's been great for them me not so much but i've been super jealous at some of the things what like if you're going for a cartoon avatar i've seen some people who've got some fantastic ones look at the person's previous work and you know you know specifically what you're looking for um but yeah it, I suppose it's not fair for me to go to a design person and say pick the very ideas out of my head that I don't quite understand in my head and make them make them perfectly the wonderful thing for me because yeah I'm, nobody can get into my head I can't even get into my own head oh guinea pig more than happy to make everyone a general YouTube thumbnail template oh awesome <laughs> That's pretty, well, we can, we can all help each other. You need help with Eatsy, you're no expert. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I think sometimes that's the best kind of coaches rather than to pay vast amounts of money. If, if you have a support group, people that can help with ideas, not that are just like being super nice because they're like your family or something. But if we just have a group of creative people, which surprisingly we have everyone has slightly different ideas and can bounce around ideas that's probably the better way to go uh, guinea pig you have to be careful with marketers coaches 
many of them can fill you up like a hot air balloon but can fizzle when you can't afford them yeah there is that too so i i am gobsmacked with some of the prices that people charge and that's why that's another reason why i'm not doing that kind of thing we're learning and growing together i don't want the responsibility of like F- filling you up saying yeah we can do this we can make a thousand sales in two and a half minutes no it's rubbish Let- let's be honest it's probably going to be tough for most of us and the most important thing is if we can all hang together and motivate each other um dimitro D- oh i'm rubbish at words yeah, uh, Slava. I was calling you Slava. <laughs> what a great chat today! Thank you so much. I think the chat's been going great. Um, Jerry recommends you use a regular designer, not use Fiverr, but you'll pay a little more, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, it sounds like I, like I say, I, w- I was advising Fiverr because a lot of people have had good results with it, but I've not had good results with it. So yeah, uh, Guinea Pigs and Chris, you use Shopify. Uh, and Slava hire someone to do your bookkeeping. Yeah, I'm seriously thinking of looking into that for the next year or so. Uh, but even then, I have to be a little more organised than I am. But at the minute, in in the UK, there's different levels of bookkeeping that you need to do. If you're making below a certain amount, you don't have to do super detailed bookkeeping. You just have to tell them this is how much I made. And then once you hit the next level, then they want more detailed stuff. So I'm thinking I'll have to check. But when I get to that level, I'm thinking of taking it all to the professional and going, deal with that, please do the thing. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, Dimitri, your son keeps telling you that I need an expensive laptop and a really great mic, so that's held me back from creating a YouTube channel. Not at all. I start. I haven't had time to do much on it. I started a dog training channel using just my mobile phone. Um, you are currently watching me on a webcam. I have a goodish mic. It's not a great mic. Um, let's. I don't want to don't want to touch the mic. So can we? Can, I'm being an idiot. Lift up the camera. I has. Where's the mic? This. This is a blue sm- snowball mic, which was something. Oh, that's not good. Um, blue snowball mic, which pops into my computer, which was a little upgrade. But I've only had that for a couple of months. I just used the webcam mic. So yeah, you don't definitely don't need expensive stuff. Um. Yeah, you you don't, literally you can use your smartphone. Whatever phone you've got will probably make better quality videos than most people were making two years ago. Uh, your laptop, it depends how much editing you're going to do. I won't lie, for editing YouTube video, for editing videos, if you're doing a lot of editing, that does take power out of your computer. I mean, this my computer okay it's a couple of years old now but it was a beast um it's got like about three terabytes of memory it's got the biggest ram it's got the fastest everything i could buy at the time and with like three years of editing videos when i put a video on to edit now oh it makes some noise it is super not happy so you can make videos that this kind of live thing the great um if you're doing like creating art and stuff you can do a live and that like my my pc's just sitting there it's not even complaining at all it's coping perfectly fine you can live from your mobile phone um so you can live from a reasonable laptop so yeah i mean i tried at christmas we tried on my my mom's very ancient computer my mom's very ancient laptop and that didn't work but in general yeah you don't need you use what you've got um uh rosani oh thank you check out pam duffy's crafty friends <laughs> thank you so much um oh can i i should do a thing hang on if i can do 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 
guinea pig weekly say something <laughs> you've seen you're that helpful and you can add links if you want now um uh chris yeah um guinea pig you are being so awesome the helpy stuff this is great uh olivia's a va to help with all kind of stuff like listing social media that's what i want yeah, i know i i there's plenty of times i think that would be so nice if someone just came sent me an email and said this is what you need to make and i would just mail them back and go yeah i finished you take it away you photograph it you talk to the customer and come back to me if it needs any changes that be so good but that's not how my world works um lily tree for youtube it's best to start with what you have and add as you go absolutely uh, wendy how do you video your hands only with a cell phone easily um i don't have my stand here but i've got um i have i can't remember what it was called but it was when i was looking for a ring light i got a setup that's like a stand with three legs coming out of it one of the legs holds your phone another one ho holds a mic if you've got a mic and another leg has a little ring light and you can position your phone in whatever direction you want so you're able to work with your hands and your camera's held where you want it to or you can get adapters that go into normal tripods that can hold your phone i don't have any sitting about um tons of tripods you can get relatively cheaply that help <coughs> excuse me that you can just position your phone pointing down at your hands easy as um yeah so easy uh valerie we have three dogs the only area of my house that's hair free is your workshop no dogs allowed yeah i totally understand that um the hilarious thing is right i've got my dogs and of course they're they're right next to me that's ben now mia's hidden just now because she really doesn't like the fireworks but yeah the dogs are with me but i had a complaint once um somebody said one of the bookmarks they got and they go it's gorgeous but there's some dog hair on it and i'm just like it's made of wool <laughs> there's hair like there's hair everywhere i don't know why i wear black but most of the hair around my house isn't necessarily dog hair it's it's all this this stuff there's hair everywhere um uh, Rosani makes all her videos and internet stuff on the phone there's many helpful apps available absolutely um Dean Nimmin is really good for, he's got a series Mastering Your Mobile, he talks about doing YouTube on a mobile phone, all the apps and everything. Uh, Lena, yeah, tripod or gimbal, very, very much so that there's some super cheap things. Guinea Pig Weekly, thank you so much for the link, awesome. <laughs> and Lily Tree says, welcome to the Blue Wrench Club. Yeah, well, especially for YouTubers, I like to give you, give you the Blue Wrench, but being helpful you're a part of my community <laughs> so blue wrenches i'm probably just going to give blue wrenches to like everybody um all right guys i think that's that's enough i was going to i was going to do do more of my youtube and statistics but we'll we'll do them another next month we'll be adding more <laughs> cuz i think quite a lot of you are actually trying to grow youtube channels too which is really cool we're going to we're going to have a a crafty youtube community but guys anyway i have to go and get some food it it's been an awesome chat thank you all so much this has been so cool uh you guys have a great week i have just finished what are the two videos the two videos i just scripted are on oh branding oh yeah that's a good one um surprise it i think you'll be surprised with the the branding because a lot of people just go branding oh that means nothing or that means i make an avatar but i think you'll like that and pricing is another one kind of cool so that's that's what we've got um doo -doo -doo. <laughs> lily it's sheep's hair <laughs> denise thank you so much for joining me um 
Yeah, Rosani's saying tripod with a selfie stick works nicely. Yeah, because phones are light. It's different when you're trying to use a big camera and try and get them to go overhead. You need to really think about what kind of tripod you've got. But with a phone, you just need a little bracket. It's like a little adapter. I haven't got them here, but it's it, it's like that kind of thing. And your phone slides into it. A, a clamp that holds like that goes into your tripod and you can just move it about. <coughs> Anyway, yes, Lena, you're right. Tea time for tea time for Pam. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you next time.